Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to fix the Are You Sure You Want to Do This error in WordPress. Now, unlike other WordPress errors like the Establishing Database Connection error or Memory Exhausted error, the Are You Sure You Want to Do This error does not let you know what triggered the error. Now, if you do what the question is asking, are you sure you want to do this, is letting you know that possibly something you were doing triggered this error. So we simply have to just backtrack and see what we were doing and simply fix it. Now, you may have been working on a variety of different tasks. Maybe you're creating a post. Maybe you're working with images. Maybe you're customizing your theme. Maybe you're working on categories. Maybe you're uploading a theme or a plugin or working on a WordPress core file and this triggered the error. Now, of course, other things can also cause this. Worst case scenario, your website could be under attack or was hacked. Now, of course, that is worst case scenario. So let's look in this video with the top six areas that you can work on to troubleshoot this error. Now, you might be wondering what would even cause this error to begin with. In many cases, the error pops up when you're trying to complete an action that requires certain user permissions, but WordPress is not able to verify you have access. You see, WordPress uses security tokens, often called nonces. They're used to validate a user, just like yourself, to verify that you are the owner of your website or that you have the correct permission and user role to be able to do whatever action you're trying to do. If WordPress isn't able to verify the security tokens, then this error will be displayed. So let's get started and looking at the top six ways that you can fix this error. As a warning, please make sure you have a backup of your WordPress website or WordPress website server. So that way, if something goes wrong, you can go back to a stable state. So let's start with the most simple solution first, and that is simply clearing your cache. Now, it doesn't matter which browser you're using. If you're using Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, or whatever browser you're using, typically there's some sort of internet option or tool setting that you can go in and you can delete your browsing history and clear your cache. For our number two fix, we're going to look at your plugins and your themes, possibly a WordPress folder or file that you're uploaded and it did not work correctly. So sometimes if you're uploading a plugin or a theme and you are transferring it possibly via FTP or whatever method you're using, sometimes there might be a file that's missing, maybe something happened and it didn't upload correctly and you simply have to go back and maybe possibly try to re-upload that same file again to see if it overwrites whatever was missing. So for our number three fix, we're going to get a little bit more technical. So if you have a lot of applications or if you have a lot of plugins or if you have a lot of things going on within your WordPress website, it could be that you've reached your PHP memory limit. So all we have to do is simply increase the PHP memory limit so that way this will possibly fix the error. Simply log into your website via FTP. I'm using FileZilla. Now look through your directory here and look for the file called php.ini. If you have the file, you can simply open it and edit it there. If you don't have the file, we're going to go ahead and do it manually right here. Simply open up your favorite text or HTML editor and we're going to add this line of code. Now starting out, we're going to set the memory at 64. We're going to save this. Again, we're going to save it as php.ini and we're going to save it. Now, if you're uploading it from your computer, simply upload it to your directory here. If you're using FileZilla, it possibly will just save it to your directory. Just refresh and make sure it's sitting there. Now, see if your website works. If it doesn't work, let's go ahead and increase the memory again. As a good rule of thumb, try to double the memory each time. So, if we started with 64, now we're going to go to 128. If that doesn't work, we're going to go to 256. After 256, simply it might be best to contact your web hosting provider because they may manually have to fix this for you or they may have limitations on how much memory you're allowed to have. For our next fix here, we're going to look at your themes. And again, if you were working on a theme and you presently were uploading a theme when this error was triggered, you kind of know to start there first possibly. But it's one of those things where if you're uploading a theme and it caused some sort of issue, and this triggered the, are you sure you want to do this error? Then let's go look at the themes. While you're logged in via FTP, simply look for your theme folder. Now, if you can spot the theme that you're previously uploading, try to download that to your computer as a backup in case something goes wrong. 
Once you have backed up the theme to your computer or you have another copy on your computer, simply go ahead and delete that theme from your website server. Now, you should be able to log back in. If you can go to your dashboard, it should let you know that the active theme is broken, which reverts you automatically back to the default theme. Many times this could be the theme for your current year, such as 2017, 2018, and so on. Now just see if you create the error again. If the error does not come back again, then you know the theme was the issue. If it does come back again, then you know it's something else. For our next fix, just like we did with the WordPress themes, we're going to look at the WordPress plugins. Now, unlike a WordPress theme, you do not need a default WordPress plugin for your website to work. So let's log in again via FTP. I'm using FileZilla. Now go to your plugin folder. Simply delete or deactivate your plugins. If you know which plugin you're presently working with that could have caused this issue, you might want to start with that one first. Now there's two main ways that you can approach this. You can go plugin by plugin and rename or delete each one to find the one that's causing the issue, or you can simply rename the entire plugin folder that will automatically deactivate all the plugins. Now, if you deactivate all the plugins, it's hard to know which one was causing the issue. So, if you can go plugin by plugin, refreshing each time, you'll be able to find out which one is causing the issue. Simply click on the plugin that you like and simply rename it. This will automatically deactivate the plugin or simply delete it. It's up to you. For our final troubleshooting fix, we're going to look to reset your security keys. Now, although this sounds a little confusing and a little technical, it's not very hard at all. Again, while you're logged in to your website server via FTP, again, I'm using FileZilla. We're simply looking through your directory for the file called wp-config.php. Simply view or download this file. Now open it using your favorite text or HTML editor. If you scroll through, you'll come to some authentication keys. These keys can be 60 plus in characters, including numbers, letters, uppercase, lowercase, and symbols. All we want to do is create a new unique phrase. A lot of times, it's best if you can use a key generator if you search online. Simply search for a key generator and it'll help you create a brand new key that you can use for these areas. Now, if none of these six troubleshooting fixes work for you, it could be that your website was attacked, is under attacked, or you possibly just need to contact your web hosting provider to see if they can help you further. Again, if you can remember what you were doing right before this website error was triggered, that's going to help you a lot. So again, if you're uploading a plugin, you might just want to start right for the plugins. If you're working with a theme, you might want to go right to the themes. So if you can remember what you did right before you did this, this will help you a lot. Again, also, possibly, say you're working on a blog post and you stepped away from your computer for a short amount of time. The system could have logged you out. So if you go to save the blog post, it possibly could ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Because it does not know if you are the owner of the website or you have permission to do what you're trying to do. So you simply may have to log back in and start from where you left off. Hopefully, one of these solutions did work for you. But again, you may need to contact your web hosting provider for additional assistance. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.